Hackley here with another Xcode tutorial. Uh, as you can see, I already have a project open here, but don't worry, it's just a normal view-based project. I just did it to save a bit of time. And uh, as you've probably guessed by the title of this video, we're going to be working with UI fonts. Now, a UI font is basically self-explanatory. It's a font that you can apply to your project. You can apply it to buttons, labels, text fields, text views and uh, it will basically take that font so you have the button and now it has a nice font so you've probably seen in many applications um, on the app store and they all have their own different fonts um, now you're probably going to say to me but hold on Xcode does have fonts so you know if I go into the font view controller dot nib here and I just drag a label on see like that it already has its own font called Helvetica if we go over here to the attributes now I can just click on this text here and I can now freely choose which font I want it to be. So let's say I'll go into all fonts here and I'll select Helsinki text. Helsinki text. Wait, hold on, my, my font hasn't changed. I'll try another one. No, font still hasn't changed. Um, nope, it's not changing much. Why won't it change? And that's because Xcode doesn't know where these fonts are. We have them on our computer, but we don't have them in the Xcode file. Now there are a few exceptions, like if we go into fun here and choose marker felt, you see Xcode knows what marker felt is. So uh, this is the whole purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to put a font into Xcode and allow it to be used uh, in your projects. So um, if we just quit out of that second, um, you need to go into a computer, either go into applications or go up here to the search bar at the top and search something called font book. Now every Mac should have it, it's basically where all your fonts are stored. So as you can see, I have the font book open here. Now we're going to choose a font that we like. So I don't know what that is. I'm going to search one that I already know I have called Lobster. Here you go, Lobster. I'm going to have this one. So what I need to do is find the actual file, right click and press reveal in finder. Now this will actually get me the actual font. Um, so where the actual .ttf or .otf is actually saved. So fonts, as you can see, are saved in different formats. So there's the .otf format here for the lobster, and you can see this one up here is saved in .ttf. It doesn't matter which one, Xcode can read both of them. So what we're going to do now, we're going to right-click and we're going to select Copy. And uh, then I'm just going to paste it on my desktop just for simplicity. So as you can see here, here's my new lobster .otf. Now I can close down that and close down font book. I can now open up Xcode again. Now if we all we need to do now is just click and drag our otf or .ttf file into Xcode. Simple as, just like dragging an image in. Yes, we want to copy because we don't want it, it to be lost or anything, so finish. And now we've got our font in Xcode. As you can see, it does read the OTT OTF. Um, so yeah, now what we need to do is actually let Xcode know about it. So if we go down here to the um, supporting files and go into the font info .plist. in here you should see a load of uh, basically rows of stuff and this is where you can set a lot of stuff in Xcode. No, not many people know about how powerful the plist is but I don't really know much about it either but I know it's kind of powerful. So if you just right click on any random row here and just click add row now all we want to do is go type in fonts and if you just type fo you'll see this thing pop up here fonts provided by application if we double click that and uh, now we've got one item in there it says so if we go down to one item that's the first item and we can keep adding items so if we have 10 fonts we can just add 10 of these and that will allow us to have 10 fonts now we actually need to enter the value or the name of our font so we double click in here and we're going to type in lobster 1.4.0 OTF. So there you go, there's our lobster font in here. Now, I type lobster because my file is called lobster. If your text file, I mean your font file is named something different, obviously name this exactly the same. Make sure you include the extension as well. So that's that done. Now we can go into our view controller.h and I'm just going to create three properties here. And uh, I'll be back in a minute once I've created them. Alright guys, I'm back and as you can see I've just created three properties here. 
and I've got a UI label, UI text field and UI text view. Just to show you the range of the font, it can also go to buttons as well and all sorts that use text. So if we just go into the .m here, we need to synthesize these, so I'm going to quickly do that. At synthesize and it was label, tf and tv I believe. And I'm also going to dealloc these as well and release them. So I'm going to go label, release, oops, one, release, there we go, tf, release, and tv, release. So that's that set up. Now we need to go into the view did load, just down here. We're going to uncomment that. And in here, we're just going to set up the thing to actually produce our font. Now, because we're going to be using the font in three different attributes, we're going to create a local thing that we can call from, a local instance. So I'm going to type that out and uh, I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I've added quite a lot of code here. But simply, all I've done is create an instance of our lobster font here by typing out UI font star lobster font, giving it a name, and then space equals space UI font font with name, and then in at quotes lobster dot um, lobster space 1.4 now as you can see if we go over here our lobster font is called lobster space 1.4 so make sure you type it exactly the same just like when you're typing out images or something make sure you type exactly the same and then the size is obviously the size of your font so it when you're when the person types with this if you set this font to something like I have here label dot font lobster font the size will be 30, 30 whatever, I don't know what's the size of fonts are measured in, but yeah. So as you can see here, um, so basically to just change the font or something, you just type the name and then dot .font. So label.font equals the lobster font we made here, textfield.font equals lobster font, and textview.font equals lobster font. Down here, all I've done is just change the text of them so I can um, so you can see what the font looks like. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do now is set up the interface. Um, I'm I'm going to cut this out of the video because it should be pretty simple. Plus, the point of this video is to teach you how to use fonts, not to set up interfaces. So I'll set up this, and I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I have uh, built our application here. I'm waiting for it to build. There's the interface just behind there, and uh, for some reason, the interface is now. Uh, the, the iPhone simulator is now the iPhone 4 simulator, I don't know why that's happened but as you can see here are our fonts, so as you can see everything's now got the lobster font in it so this is the lobster font so you can you can edit them like this, look I just type in here lobster, you can see I can now type in this new font the keyboard now won't go away but you know you can see I can now type in the font, delete in the font, all sorts so there you go guys, there's just a quick tutorial on how to use UI fonts and how to set them so Hope that tutorial helped you guys uh, make your apps look look nicer rather than just the default fonts in Xcode. Um, so yep, yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.